Yo yeah guys, Fetch here with another vlog on the Fetchy Vlogs YouTube channel and today I didn't really plan to do this vlog, I only planned to do this what like about a minute ago I wasn't really intending to do a vlog like this but I thought because to or because this weekend is going to be a weekend that I'm occupied at I won't be able to be streaming on my channel, I might be able to do some Xbox streaming tomorrow uh, obviously I'm going to be vlogging through that day so you would have seen if there was a stream uh, anyway, but uh, yeah, this is going to be a weekend I am occupied for so I thought I'd just do a two-day vlog a weekend vlog Basically just telling you guys what I do uh, The weekends I'm occupied so currently as you can see I'm not at home I actually uh, at the um, at the football ground that I do work at because that's what I'm doing this weekend So as you can see I am at the football ground. Oh if it wants to focus there you go and this is the camcorder because uh, I'm I film the uh, the matches that go on here um, and uh, yeah so that takes the the amount of time that it does so at the weekends it starts at 3 p.m. and then if we have any night games it's usually on a Tuesday and it starts at 2 for, uh, and it starts at 7 45 p.m. so it's about I don't know I think it's probably about half two or something half two quarters of three uh, and the match is going to start in a few minutes but as you can see the uh, the uh, players are just warming up well the goalkeepers the players are somewhere over there um, and uh, yeah I basically filmed the matches today and then what I do tomorrow is I basically edit them so I'm going to vlog tomorrow as well I'm going to vlog today as well as I said so yeah that's what I'm basically doing at the moment just standing on the stand that the club have built for me um, which basically allows me to get a brilliant view of the pitch as you can see quite high up two meters up so if any fans come around here uh, I am socially distanced from them because it's two meters up due to the COVID pandemic uh, so yeah <laughs> and uh, yeah so it was just someone giving me a thumbs up so yeah uh, they built it for me and I can get a brilliant view of the pitch I'll swing the I'll uh, switch the camera around so um, I'll, I'll show you what it's like um, but yeah I get a very good view of the pitch and then uh, I edit them, send it to the manager and uh, yeah, he can review the footage for the players and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to switch the camera around and show you my view of the pitch. So to give you a quite good perspective of where my uh, of where my view is, down there, that little blur thing is the, is the camcorder. So if I just move the phone with the camera, you can kind of see the view I get. And as you can see, the view is just brilliant. I just get a brilliant view of the pitch as you can see so yeah I basically film the matches the full 90 minutes and uh, I edit them into the highlights so um, I'll basically catch up with you guys if anything really happens I'll probably see you at half time because I won't be vlogging throughout the match okay so it is now Sunday it's the day after the match we lost 2-1 unfortunately uh, after an own goal but we did have a few good chances the second half was a little bit boring uh, I didn't actually vlog at half time as you saw because um, it was actually quite raining during the first half and I tried to because my tripod literally got soaked due to the rain so I basically left that to dry I went free camera for the second half and uh, yeah it's now Sunday so I am now editing the match as you can see I've got my uh, laptop down here with Premiere Open editing it and uh, also have my iPad next to it and I'm basically chatting with Jamie the manager basically just discussing uh, where the mo where the most opportunities were if we could like uh, remember where things were and um, yeah we basically have been having a conversation about that and uh, I haven't actually told you guys but today uh, I actually have a endurance race tonight and I'm also going to be watching the Belgian Grand Prix as well. So my plan for today is to basically hardcore edit in the morning, try and get everything sorted and edited and then have it rendering while I have dinner and watch the Grand Prix. Hopefully try and upload it as well, I don't know, depending on how long the match actually takes to upload. And then hopefully everything should be sorted for 5 30 p.m which is when the endurance race qualifying starts uh the race is now actually starting until six but i want to try and get on for half six for half five sorry um maybe a bit earlier if i can so maybe about 20 past but uh, yeah i don't know so i'm just going to go heavy hardcore editing if i can't get it uploaded then i'll do it tomorrow uh i'll try and you know see if i can get it uploaded today um 
after the rendering I'll kind of look at the time is it worth uploading is it worth waiting for tomorrow I'm gonna to try to upload it today but if I can't then it'll be tomorrow but yeah I'm just gonna to get to editing and I'll probably see you guys after I finish editing okay so I have now finished editing the match fully it's all ready and it is rendering at the moment it's estimating it's gonna take about three hours I think it's probably gonna take about two and a half maybe even maybe two hours so yeah that is rendering it took me about three hours to edit the entire match in total and uh, yeah i'll let uh the manager know and uh yeah hopefully i'll be able to get it uploaded if it's going to take not long to render because i didn't do as much editing as i normally do i tried a different style and i don't know if it's actually better or not but um if it makes it easier to edit and it's and it actually just looks semi-professional then i guess it's okay so yeah, the timing is going down a lot, so it may actually only take an hour and a half, like the actual length of the video. That would be amazing if it could. But yeah, that leaves me about, I don't know, an hour and 15 minutes to maybe, you know, have a bit of a rest before I go and have uh, lunch. And then um, I'll watch the Grand Prix and stuff like that. Basically have a rest before my endurance race. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys probably after lunch or something. I don't know when. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to wait for this to render and then hopefully I can upload it at least today before my endurance race. Okay, so I've just finished having tea, or no, not tea, uh, lunch, that's what I meant to say, and it was really good. So as you can see, I've got my iPad there running the uh, Grand Prix, so I'm going to watch that when the race is on. And my video is currently on 51% uh, I think, 59% actually. And it's estimating another hour and 30 minutes to render. So I am pretty 100% confident that it will get rendered in time. But whether I can upload it, I don't know. But um, when it obviously renders, I'll have a look at it. I'll have a look at the time and see if I can possibly get it uploaded. So yeah. Hopefully, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to get it uploaded. But I'm not sure if it will actually get uploaded in time. Uh, because... I mean, obviously when it's processing on YouTube, then I obviously I don't need it open. And that's what I'm kind of debating over. Like, will I actually get it uploaded in time? So, yeah, I'm going to see what about that and going to watch the Grand Prix. Because that's what I do now. Because it's rendering. I can't really do anything on my computer. Otherwise, it will slow the render down. So, I just, you know, play on my Xbox or something. Watch a film. Watch the Grand Prix if there is one, which today there is. So yeah, I'll see you guys when something happens, probably after the Grand Prix. Okay, so the Grand Prix has just finished. Uh, Lewis Hamilton got a win, uh, an impressive win actually, and obviously he was dedicating his race to the uh, to the Black Panther who sadly passed away. Uh, I think it was uh, on Friday, I think, late Friday. So yeah, very sad to hear that. I'm actually ded dedicating my endurance race to Antoine Hubert who you know, we sadly lost last year in F2 at the Belgium Grand Prix and they're all supporting that for the Belgium Grand Prix this year and I want to dedicate my endurance race to him because he was a talented driver and I just felt he had a load of potential in F2 and in F1 as well so I wanted to dedicate my endurance race to him. So looking at the timings, looking at the estimated timings for the video for the match to go up, I should actually be able to get it uploaded as well and I'll have plenty of time for um to do my endurance race as well without it uploading as well so i'm recording this bit on my ipad and my ipad is very heavy um so yeah because i don't really want to um take my phone off because i'm actually using my hotspot to upload because it uploads quicker on my hotspot so yeah i've got that uh, uploading at the moment and i should have plenty of time before the end of the actual video going or video uploading and processing before my endurance race so that means I should I shouldn't have to really worry about having slow internet while racing so that's good so yeah I'm going to maybe grab the footage off my phone and put it onto my hold on guys I'm going to quickly get the footage off my phone put it onto my iPad so then I can edit it into a short and well edit what I've got so far and then probably um basically tell you guys what else I'm going to be doing for the rest of the day, I guess, after the uh, match is uploaded. And it is now the next day, the 31st of August, I think? Yeah, the 31st of August. So, I didn't actually record anything else after that. 
uh, because basically what I was trying to do is I got it uploaded and then I wanted to see if I could get my time lapse ready because I recorded myself editing the entire match so then I could send to the manager to basically give him an insight of what I do in post-production like what do I do in order to make it better um, so yeah I tried to get, get do that and actually rendered in time but then after that it was basically get on to the TeamSpeak server because Sim Broadcast have the um, have uh, like an option to interview the drivers and I, I actually did get an interview which I'll talk about later um, but after that as I said it was just get, in, get on to the server, get on to the game, make sure everything is fine and it was and I'll talk to you a little bit through the race because I don't even know if you want to hear it but I'll talk you through it anyway so um, I started out in qualifying uh, my first lap I got to P2 because obviously no one else had really done a lap um, and I was in P2 for quite a while but then some people more because can I speak today then more people came onto the server and then I'm just going to switch my camera view because my mom is just getting tired yeah the more people came onto the server and then they started putting in lap times and they were quicker than me and I think eventually I dropped down to like P8 uh, so then what I did is I basically lowered the fuel in the car because I originally started with 10 laps because I thought as I, as I, as I was going round I could probably rank up lap times uh, but no I, I kept going round uh, and then uh, obviously the people came onto the server started putting in quick, quick lap times so I lowered the fuel in the car to do like one quick timed lap and I put in my quickest lap and it was a personal best as well for like the entire time I've done it I think it was a 15.85 or something like that a lap time which was amazing it felt really good uh, and that was enough to qualify p7 so i went into the race starting in p7 and i started doing the race and i didn't really bog down any positions like i don't actually think ever i was in pa or further down which was amazing so i kept my position and then i just kept going round and round and it was quite fun um, but I was, I, I was just on my own, I was feeling quite lonely, like I was just on one lap and everyone else in front was on a lap, uh, they had lapped me, everyone behind I had lapped, so I was basically on my, on my own lap and I was just like, this is getting a bit lonely, but it was exciting trying to, you know, overtake the, um, the back markers, having to, you know, let the blue flags drivers uh, pass. It was quite fun. I have actually got my stream deck linked up to LFS. So basically, if I go onto the profile, I basically got left indicator, right indicator, the blink of thanks. So it look, it gives like two flushes of the hazard lights to so like say thank you to the back markers for letting me through. Uh, racing line, should I need it? Car switch on. I've also got a clock on there, so then I can kind of keep track on the time. Um, and just yeah, I basically have another few features and stuff and yeah it was just really cool because all I had to do when racing is literally click the button and it'll do it because basically all something is actually just uh, been enabled because <laughs> um, um, uh, the, the blink of thanks basically what I had to do was, pr was press a button and then wait for a certain amount of time then press another button with this one all I had to do was click it wait 1.5 seconds and then it'll just turn it off like just using hotkeys waiting and yeah all I had to do when racing just click that button and it'll just do itself and it's just really cool to just have that tool similar with the left indicator just press it and then when I want to turn it off just press the button again as I have it as a multi switch and it's just amazing to have a stream deck there just to even play with like you don't necessarily have to stream with it you can just use it as another you know another way of getting hotkeys set onto your game so I don't know say for I don't know, Minecraft, if you wanted to go onto your inventory without having to, you know, reach over to your, to your keyboard, you, like, you could just have your stream deck sign up, sitting up here, just click it, and then do the mouse, you don't have to reach over or anything. It's really cool to just, you know, do it all without the touch of a button, which is amazing. But yeah, so, um, a few uh, of the drivers in front of me actually DNF, which I, I wasn't actually expecting, so... Uh, uh, as I said, I was just kind of driving, and then I just looked into my on onto where I was, and then it just said P6, and I was just like, okay, someone must have uh, have DNF'd uh, or disconnected, so I just kept going and going, and then uh, I'm gonna say his, I'm gonna say his uh, his game tag because he is actually a quick racer. It's Inferno, I think. He is literally a master round all the tracks. I think he's won two, um, and then uh, yeah, I I saw him. He was, he was, a uh, he, he was, I was under blue flags, I saw him, he went around the corner, and then I just saw him beached in the barrier, and I was just like, yes, P5! <laughs> 
so I just kept going and going. Um, and as I said, it was getting a bit lonely, so I actually actually stuck on some music using my iPad, <laughs> no joke. I literally just put my Bluetooth on and then just, you know, synced it up to my iPad and then just started listening to some music because it was getting a bit boring. Um, and then uh, the uh, the Sim Broadcast guys kind of brought me into the commentary uh, room as I was racing, uh, which was awesome. That That's never actually happened to me. Uh, so and then they basically told me to take them on a take them on a, a, on, a on a lap of Blackwood, and they said I, I don't re I I don't necessarily expect you to commentate over it, but you know you can if you want to. And obviously because I do YouTube, I do some of the commentary stuff as you saw on Saturday. I commentated it over the match, or well, if you didn't know, that's what I do. So I literally just talked to them lap by lap, like corner by corner, what I was doing. Uh, where's where's the best places to break? Where do you put the power down, etc. And yeah, I was just like, uh, th I think after the lap they were like pleased with that and like think uh, and like saying, oh that's very good. We might offer you a job here. And obviously I said, yeah, I wouldn't mind that because obviously I actually wouldn't mind that. I'd love to get a job at some at some broadcasts just to commentate over the um over the over the races because you know I like racing, I like football matches, I like basically anything that's. I don't know really. <laughs> I like a few, I like a lot of sports. I don't like all of them, but I like a few. So uh, they said that, and I said, "Yeah, I wouldn't mind that." Obviously, I didn't know if they were joking or being serious. If they were being serious, great, offer me a job. I'd love it. Um, but if they were joking, then that's fine. And, like my reply kind of sounded like a joke as well. I don't really know um, like what it sounded like. Then I actually got mi messed up, mixed up as well uh, with the commentator because I thought his name was Pete, but it was actually Jack. <laughs> And um, yeah, so I, uh, I've actually emailed them this morning, actually saying, "Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> um, I thought you were Pete. You sounded like someone who I know, who I knew was Pete." So yeah, I'm going to see if I can install an overlay or something that allows me to, you know, see who's talking in chat. So yeah, um, they brought me in, and then they left me to race. Um, I think I was actually still in P. No, I was in P5 at the moment actually. Um, and, I, and I was like saying, you said last week, Pete, top five, because he actually did that. Did say that after Kyoto. Um, he said, because um, I got a top five, and he said, uh, hopefully a top five next time. And I'm just like, uh, when he called me, you said it, <laughs> you said it, top five, because I was saying top five, which is awesome. Uh, and then after the race, he got here, uh, um, brought a few other guys into the commentary room because they obviously uh, finished better than me because they prioritise people who only get on people who get the best positions. So he was completely fine to bring those in first, even though I was like the person in the in the waiting room for literally the longest time. No one else was actually in there apart from me the entire race. I was the only person in there. So if they wanted to talk to any driver mid race, they only had me to really speak to. Um, so yeah, obviously they commentated other people, they uh, brought other people in to commentate first, which was completely fine, I don't mind that. And then they brought me in and, and I was just like, yeah, absolutely love that race. And uh, yeah, just gave them a bit of detail. So yeah, guys, go over to Sim Broadcast's YouTube channel and Twitch channel, I'll leave them both in the description below, because they are just a great team. Maybe I might get a job position there, I don't know. But yeah, go over to their channel, uh, go on to the Open Endurance Cup Round 4, uh, and uh, yeah, see if you can uh, spot me commentator or anything, so yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to wrap up this video here, because I think I've pretty much said everything I need to do. Um, I've kind of shown you what I do on a weekend of work, so yeah. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you did enjoy it. Leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it, subscribe for more, uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. But until then, take care and peace out.